Hello everyone, welcome back to Cooking with Donna. Today I am making up a side dish, which is some scalloped potatoes. And everything you will be needing is in the description box. In my pan I have my butter melting. I'm gonna put in my onion, and we are just gonna cook these up. Maybe just until they start to get tender. And these are finely diced onions, okay? And we'll cook them maybe five to eight minutes, just till they start getting tender. Okay, I had those simmer in there for maybe five minutes. I'm going to add in my garlic. These are delicious with, um, like we're going to have ham steaks and some fresh green beans. I tried to get Curtis to do the steaks, but he's scared he's not going to make them right. But there's nothing to it, Mr. Curtis. No, I'm just nervous. He's just smiling over here. Simmer that garlic in there. Now I do have, I did have these just barely simmering here. We don't want them burnt. Now I'm going to add in my flour. Just let that garlic do its thing there till you start smelling it. We're going to add our flour in there. Now when Mama used to make these, she she did it away. Well, I guess it's because there was. A big family there's eight of us eight girls and then mom and daddy that's ten people so she would make hers right on the stovetop she'd boil her potatoes in the some water a little bit of water and drain some of it off and she would just add milk to them and some onion and let me tell you those were those were so good but she used russet russets I'm gonna be using gold the russets have more starch they help thicken up more but I like a lot of sauce in mine or gravy. Some, something like a bechamel sauce, I guess. And we're just going to cook this a minute or two. Get that raw flour taste out of there. You're not looking to brown this. Maybe a minute. Okay. Now I'm going to add in my milk slowly add it in and keep it moving okay. we don't want no lumps And we're good to add the rest. And my chicken broth there, Curtis. You want to pour that in? Stir that up a little bit. Okay, just pour that in. All right. And my spices. Like I said, everything is in the description, what y'all will be needing for this. And it's a delicious side dish. It's good with pork chops or ham. That's that's how we like them. Mainly with ham, I guess. But we're going to let this cook just until it comes to a, a boil. <clears throat> and it thickens. And then we'll get this poured over our potatoes. Okay, you can see there now that that's bubbling. Just let it bubble there for maybe 30 seconds, and we're going to take this off the heat. Okay, I have my lightly sprayed or buttered, whatever you choose, pan. Just use your one big enough, 13 by 9. I think this is, I'm not sure what size this one is. Pretty sure a 9 by 9 would work too. And then I have my potatoes cut in little rounds. I I guess maybe an eighth of an inch or a quarter of an inch. You cut them any bigger, they're going to take longer to cook. And I just throw them in there like so. Rinse them off. Let me get my stuff here stirred up. Now you can also um, throw you some ham chunk chunks in here. Or some bacon, some crispy fried bacon. Layer it. Now you can do cheese too, but we're doing scallop. And I'll just pour 
some of that over and then just make sure it all gets down in there and we'll pour some more potatoes on top and this is a delicious side dish and my oven is preheated to 350 what I'm gonna do is put the foil on top of these and then we will be baking them for approximate maybe an hour and then after that hour I'll remove that foil and they'll go again for another 35 minutes or so so it gets that nice brown bubbly top and if your oven has a hard time with browning on top just put your pan at the very top rack or turn your broiler on the last five minutes get all these taters coated all right make sure everything's down in there And I'll get my foil over this. Now if yours comes way at the top like mine does, bake it on a cookie sheet because we don't want no messy ovens. Okay. There we have that. My oven is ready. Get that off there. Don't want it burning. Cover it up with some foil. In the oven it goes, guys. Okay, my friends, there they are. I did turn my broiler on the last five minutes, and they're done. They cooked an hour and a half, actually, to be exact, half hour. Curtis, why are you sitting there snacking on pizza when we're fixing to eat? I just wanted some pizza. He's sitting here eating a piece of cold pizza that he ordered yesterday. <laughs> Ah, kids these days. Well, you're going to eat dinner, I hope. Well. All right. These are delicious. We have these often, actually. They're very good. Now, I did let these set here for about maybe, they've been set in what, maybe 10, 15 minutes, Curtis? Yeah, about. Look at that. Hot. Look at there. Nice and creamy. Am I smacking the camera? And you can go in there and get you some more of that sauce to put over them. You gonna stick one of these hot in your mouth, Curtis? Oh, those gotta cool. <laughs> Try one. Mmm. Well, I will. I already know they're good, but yep. There they are, y'all. I hope you guys give them a try. Everything, like I said, is in the description. And I guess that's about it. You guys go ahead and try some up. Uh, please help get me out there by liking, subscribing, and sharing. It truly helps my channel. And until next week, will we see you guys then? Love y'all. Stay blessed. Bye-bye.